So you're thinking about moving to Fort Lauderdale, Florida. In this video, I'm going to share with you the seven things I hate about Fort Lauderdale. I'm sure all of us can say, regardless of what city we're living in, there's always something negative to be said. Well, that's what we're gonna be discussing today. So let's get into it right now. Before I get all riled up about the seven things that I hate in Fort Lauderdale, if this is your first time to my channel, my name is Adela Phillips and I am a local realtor here in the greater Fort Lauderdale area. So if you are thinking about moving here in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email. All our information is down below in the description so we can help you move to Fort Lauderdale and the surrounding areas. Now, one of the things I hate about living in the area is the iguana poop. Yes, I said it, the iguana poop. You're probably thinking, I would say iguanas, right? Cause they're annoying and they eat your plants and everything and they're not native. No, I'm talking about the actual poop. The poop smells, it's everywhere. And one of the interesting things people don't realize is that these iguanas climb up the trees for safety. Imagine you are in a park and you happen to walk right under the tree and the iguana actually pooped on you. Kind of like how a bird poops on you and how traumatic and disgusting that can be, especially when it's in your hair. Iguana poop is significantly worse. It shoots out splatters. Not only do they poop, but they also pee right after. It's foul, so if you happen to be in the Fort Lauderdale area or maybe even South Florida area, be careful when you are walking uh, under the trees. Locals have actually started putting these tree straps around the base of the tree, so that way it prevents the actual iguanas from climbing up the actual tree, so that way they hopefully don't have any iguanas on their properties. So if you are driving around, you'll notice these. As beautiful as it is to have a waterfront property, a lot of people don't realize that these iguanas love sunbathing and they love swimming in the intracoastal waterways and the canals. So you will often see them on other on people's docks or maybe even on your dock if you happen to uh, purchase a waterfront property and you will see their poop left behind. Another thing I hate about living in Fort Lauderdale is that the city itself does not offer a lot of bike lanes. Um, I come from a city where walking and biking and just kind of being outdoors um, was a huge part of the lifestyle there and living in southern Florida I kind of imagined the same it's so gorgeous outside let's go for a beautiful bike ride they do offer bike lanes primarily along a1a but even then there are sections where they don't have enough space um, so the bicyclists actually have to uh, ride alongside automobiles and I'm sure all the drivers hate it. There are some people that will cycle all the way up along the beach side because that is primarily where the bike lanes are. They'll be driving in beautiful neighborhoods in Fort Lauderdale where a bike lane would fit perfectly and is where I often see group of cyclists biking as well. So you would think the city can actually do something about it, especially if they have the, the space to actually incorporate bike lanes. Another thing I hate about living in Fort Lauderdale is the constant construction. So many times you're just like used to your route where you're going to work or you're going to a restaurant, you're going out with friends and there's just traffic because lanes are closed. There has been um, many times, especially around the downtown area, there's so, many con so much construction, especially since they're building all these huge buildings and then they're ma doing major um, construction near the tunnel that has been years and it's still going on everybody's just waiting for that construction to be done and then they're also doing like a massive high-rise just right next to the tunnel so the city seems to always be doing something always doing construction always changing lanes um, and it's not just the private developers building buildings but it's also the actual city doing reconstruction redoing the streets redoing the sidewalk repaving it's just non-stop another thing i hate about fort lauderdale is their problem with their sewer pipes 
how many times does the city have to work on the broken sewer pipes? It's just year after year, a pipe breaks, they do excavation, they do sewer repair, they solve that, and then another portion of the sewer pipe has issues. The actual city of Fort Lauderdale had this massive sewer project throughout the city in different sections. So who knows, we will have to see yet again how long that will last and where there will be another sewer problem in the future. Another thing I hate about living in Fort Lauderdale, okay, I know some of you are gonna fight me on this, but it is gonna have to be the Blue Angels Air Show. Did I say it? Listen, I love going to the air show. I do like to go and take my kids for two hours and that's it. But the thing I hate is the fact that they practice Thursday, Friday, and then the show is Saturday, Sunday. And you know what happens? Is for those four days, you can't work from home. You can't do anything. My kids are complaining. <laughs> It's the noise I'm complaining about. I mean, there's no way of making those planes actually quiet or anything, but they do come here and it literally shakes the buildings. I was just messaging with a friend late last night and she even said her condo building was rattling. And there's even been moments where I'm inside my own house where I have hurricane impact windows. So there's more of a sound barrier and these planes just come really low. Right and we're inside and we can't even talk and we almost have to like cover our ears. So if anything, I would just say if they can at least practice a little bit higher so they're not so low and shaking the buildings. I mean, listen, if you work from home, if you're remote and the air show's in town, you gotta call those four days. I mean, Saturday, Sunday, yes, but that Thursday and Friday, there's no way you're gonna get any work done. The school shouldn't even be doing any exams. It's so hard to focus and it goes on for hours. If I haven't said this already, make sure to go ahead and hit the like button if you enjoy what I'm saying so far and leave a comment down below. I do personally respond to those. Another thing I hate about living in Fort Lauderdale is getting caught in the rain. I used to think, oh, I'll just be smart and carry an umbrella around, but you know how things happen. You take your umbrella with you and you leave it in the car. You put it in your purse, you got the wrong purse. You put it in your car, you drive your partner's car, your other car, whatever, and you just kind of end up leaving it around. So the moment you need that umbrella, you just don't have it. And of course, you end up buying multiple umbrellas. All of a sudden, you have like 10 umbrellas in your house that you really don't need all the time. It's very sporadic. It's very local. I think that's the best way to say it. It's very local. You can sometimes even see it's almost like a blanket of rain just going right through um, and just you know just comes out of nowhere so that's the biggest thing i hate it's completely unexpected and you can't prepare for it one thing i hate about fort lauderdale but i am most passionate about and this is actually something i tell my clients when they're purchasing a home to just beware if this is what they're thinking it is so difficult to get anyone to come out and do work on your property whether it's a plumber, an electrician, a sprinkler person, a painter, a roofer, tile person, a kitchen person, a bathroom remodel person. So if you're thinking you can come to Florida or Fort Lauderdale, uh, Southeast Florida, and actually buy a fixer upper and just hire someone or get a general contractor, good luck, okay? This is my advice to my clients, and this is actually how I got work done, and this was the most frustrating part when we moved here, was to actually get work done. You have to be able to do it yourself, yes. So if you do it yourself, perfect. You might just succeed as an entrepreneur having that type of job out here. But aside from that, if you wanna get a vendor out to your property, you're gonna have to call 10 to 12 people Three of them will answer the phone and maybe, you know, the three, let's say you schedule them out. Like they say, yeah, I can come this day, this day, whatever. 
maybe one or two of them actually show up. And then one of them actually gives you a quote. Can you see that how difficult it is from 12 people down to one? So if you actually wanna get like three quotes, you're gonna to have to call between 30, let's just say 40 people for just the one thing. I actually wanted to show you because I myself need some work done on my sprinklers here on my property. So I went ahead and recorded my session just so you can see what it's like. To an automatic voice message. Hello. Thank you for contacting our office after normal business hours. If you're calling it's not even five. This evening, <laughs> it's Thursday. Because believe it or not, they won't answer the phone. It goes to voicemail. Maybe their voicemail's not set up. Maybe their voicemail is full. Maybe um, you leave a voicemail and they don't call you back. You send them a text. They don't respond. It's just something we all complain about and no one ever talks about. So I wanted to share that with you. I hope this was helpful. Yes, it's seven things I hate about living here, but you know what? All the positive and all the great stuff that I love about living in Fort Lauderdale outweighs them all. So if you are thinking about moving to Fort Lauderdale, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. And if you want to learn more about Fort Lauderdale and the surrounding areas, then go ahead and click here. And if you want to make sure to not miss out on any of their content I create specifically for you, then make sure to subscribe here. Now that I've been here for a resident for quite some time, I'm going to be just, nope.